How to use Microsoft To Do for Beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can put your life back on track with Microsoft To Do. Now, Microsoft To Do enables us to manage our daily tasks as well as organize tasks, set up reminders, set up timers, and much, much more. Now, Microsoft To Do is not only available on the desktop version, but they also have an application that you can install onto your desktop so you have easier access as well. And you also can uh, use it directly on the desktop, but I find it to be way, way, way more effective when you are using it otherwise. So let's move towards the to-do application on our desktop. So now this is the Microsoft to-do application on our desktop. Now, as you guys can see over here, it is a simple background and on the left, you have a panel that helps you in controlling your tasks. Now in this, you have a my day section, which allows you to see what you're supposed to do in your day. Then after that, you can mark a important task in the importance tab. Then you have a plan section, which can help you in planning out your days. Below that, you have an assigned to me section, which helps you in assigning tasks to yourself. And then any task that is assigned to you in your Microsoft planner will also show up here. So what is the difference between the planner and the to do if tasks assigned to you are going to show up in your to do list anyway? Well, there's a difference. The planner allows you to manage projects, goals, milestones, whereas if you take a look at the Microsoft to do, it actually allows you to manage your to do list. So this is more so a tool that is going to help you manage your time in a personal capacity, whereas the planner is more so to plan projects and goals. Now, moving forward, if we go on ahead and open up our browser and we go into the Microsoft Planner over here, I'm just going to open up the planner like so, and I can go into the workflow and I can go on ahead and create a new task. So let's say this task is going to be to create a logo. And then I can assign this to myself, click on add task. Once I do that and I head on over back into my Microsoft to do after syncing up, it will be, you know, shown over here. Then after that, you also have your flagged mail. So any type of mail that you're going to receive, you can mark it as important and you can see it over here, especially because a lot of time mail actually has actionable items. You get action items in mail, so it's easier to have them. Then you have your simple tasks tab, which allows you to add tasks. Now, within tasks, you can create different lists on the left and you can also create different groups. Now, to delete any of these, you can just do a left click and then do a right click and click on delete lists. So you can delete these groups and lists if they are not what you wanted to create, like so. You can just click on delete list delete list like so and then these groups I can click on delete group delete group and then delete group now I want to get started with creating my groups and lists and starting to organize my day so I'm going to first create my first group which is going to be my my first group is going to be personal and then the second group is going to be my secondary group and this is going to be related to work so i'm going to rename this into work and then i can click on add list now within each group you can add multiple different lists so the first list that i'm going to be creating for my tasks is going to be my eventual tasks so things i'm supposed to do eventually but they are not a high priority and then after that, I can go on ahead and go into the work section and I'll rename my first list into, let's say I'm doing two jobs. So let's say my first job is at a warehouse. And then after that, I can create a new list. And once I create my new list, I can rename this list and I can do this for my second job. So let's say I'm a hair stylist like this. So once you have these different categories in which you can organize your tasks, you can also create a separate group or a separate list that is for your random tasks or things that you're just uncertain where they go, but you do know you are supposed to do them. You can add a separate group for that. So in my eventual tasks, let's say I'm supposed to clean my closet. 
like so. I can just enter a task like this. Once you enter your task, you can click on the task and add different steps. So cleaning my closet might entail to first clean my dresser or clean my dresser. Then I might suppose, let's say I'm supposed to fold my laundry like this. And this is a really basic example. Obviously, your tasks are not going to be like this uh, simplified. But if you want, you can actually make them this simplified. This can be really great for people with ADHD as well, where you have actionable items that you can tick off within a larger task. It really does help me when there is a larger task and then it has smaller tasks within that. And I can tick them off to know that I am doing something. So you can add different steps and then you can click on add to my day. Now, if you click on add to my day, this will directly add the task to the list of tasks that you're supposed to complete in a day. You can also set up reminders for when you're supposed to do a task as well as a due date. You can also create a repetitive task. So with task scheduling, for this type of task is not going to be scheduled. But let's say for my warehousing job, I have a task that is recurring, which is going to be to organize cardboard section. And this is something that I have to do every so every so many days. I can click on this task and I can click on repeat. Once I click on repeat, I can choose my own customized interval or one of the preset intervals. So let's say I'm supposed to do this after every 15 days or only weekly or monthly or even on weekdays or yearly. But I'm going to set a customized day and I want to repeat this after every 15 days and then I can click on done. So you will see that it can be added to my day. I'm not going to add this to my day and I'm not going to add a due date. I'm going to add a due date for let's say on the 30th and then from 15 days from then I'm supposed to add that so I'm going to click on customize, click on days and add my 15 days like so. Yeah every 15 days. Now with that, we can also attach files and notes. Now with files and notes, these are just going to be helpful in providing more data alongside your tasks, especially if you're doing your project management alongside your tasks. This is just super easy to manage then. Now, after that, we can also add other people into a list. So on the top right, you can click on this person icon to share this list with someone and if you're working together, it can just be easier. Instead of learning an entire project manager, you can just create a list of the things you're supposed to do and share them within your team. Then on the top right, you can also customize the list. So you can change the theme, duplicate it, print it, as well as hide the completed tasks with Microsoft. You do mark things completed and they are just moved into a completed tab like this. And then after that, you can also see that the assigned to me section has now been updated. So now I have the create a logo task that I added into the planner. So if your team is using Microsoft Planner to organize their projects, it's going to be really easy to use the to do by Microsoft for you personally, because instead of having to log on to Planner to see what is being done, you will directly see a tab for you, which is going to help you in organizing your day. Now, in your day section, you will see all of your tasks on the top right, and you can click on this icon and drag and drop tasks over here that you think that you could do today. And then on the top right, again, you can change the theme, you can add a solid color, you can add these lined colors, and you have a couple of different options to pick out from. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.